Let's begin with the King's Road. This, of course, is a location in Game mm. of Thrones that we've all come to know quite well. Yes, and you might remember this scene from season three where Arya and Gendry are walking along this, you know, incredible landscape of trees. And, you know, this is an actual place in Belfast, near Belfast, which is actually one of the best places to go for Game of Thrones fans because uh, the studio scenes were mostly filmed in Belfast. And then all the surrounding scenery, like um, this row of, of hedges, is just uh, very easy to get to. And Travel Zoo has um, found amazing flight deals to Ireland this year. You can fly there for, you know, $500 or $600 from Canada. And, you know, we recommend maybe getting a camper, driving around, checking out scenes like this um, or the beaches and the mountains because and the castles, because this really is one of the central places that Game of Thrones, uh, all of the seasons oh have been gosh, filmed. Oh my gosh, if yeah. I was on this path right here, I Jeff, I would start, I'd be going, oh my. There's no CGI here. This is a No, real these are real beach trees yeah. that have grown together in this incredible striking landscape. Incredible. Unreal. All right, let's move on to the King's Landing. Tell us about this location. Okay, this unforgettable scene from season five is Cersei's Walk of Atonement. And, you know, um, we don't recommend that you actually recreate it in full because public nudity is illegal in Croatia, but it is filmed. That's good to know. Good pro tip. <laughs> it's filmed in Dubrovnik. Um, and Dubrovnik is just this a walled city that is actually this striking medieval, what you see here, the Spanish stairs, it really is, um, you know, like right out of medieval times. Uh, although in actuality right now, you're not gonna find it empty. It's full of travelers. So Travel Zoo's experts recommend you, you plan your trip to Croatia, arrive there really early in the morning, and then um, once you've, you know, seen the sights and walked the walls, sit down, uh, you know, in one of the terrace cafes and uh, really imagine yourself, uh, you know, in Game of Thrones times. Right. Yeah, okay, that's Croatia there. All right, now, if we, I can't believe we have to go here, but we've got to go beyond the wall. Beyond the wall. <laughs> okay, so this is where uh, the trouble lies, beyond the wall. You've got the wildlings, you've got the white walkers, um, and this is all filmed in Iceland. And Iceland actually is home to the largest glacier in Europe, and you can actually go visit it. What you think is CGI is not. It's really Iceland. And, you know, we, uh, Travels, we sent members a deal the other day for uh, flights to Europe that stop in Iceland. No extra charge. You can spend three days there exploring before you go on your way. So that's a fantastic way to just spend a couple days in Iceland, um, visit the glacier, uh, vis maybe catch the northern lights, and uh, see some of really some of the most stunning uh, icy landscapes in the world. Well, Except speaking, for the White Walkers. Yeah. Except for the White Walkers. <laughs> Look at this. Speaking of stunning, it looks like they're about to walk through meringue. It, <laughs> it really wonderful. does. It really does. <laughs> All right. The next location in Game of Thrones that was a huge landmark for everybody, mm -hmm. the Great Sept of Baelor. Yes. And this brings us to uh, a pivotal scene in season one. And I almost... I don't want to give any spoilers, but the Great Sept of Baylor is where you see many of the formal ceremonies, um, maybe the odd execution, uh, quite a few weddings. This is the <laughs> execution. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we won't, okay, we won't spoil anything. Okay, okay. okay. But this is actually filmed. I'm just, I'm just putting it all together, Let what scene this, this is. this way. I've not seen one second of this show, but I understand that people die. And a lot of people, <laughs> lot die. Of people die. So that's not a spoiler. There's oh. some dying. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to this So this moment. is actually filmed in, um, in Malta. And uh, you can actually visit uh, Fort Manuel. And it's actually the scene of the Sept of Baylor. Um, so, you know, Malta is a really fantastic destination. Travel Zoo's deal experts recommend it in part because you have uh, many of the features you have in places like Italy or Greece, but without the crowds and at a lower cost. And I'm talking about things like incredible seafood, uh, limoncella out on the terrace, you know, um, and these just wonderful sites like this. And actually, also the Palace of St. Anton, which is actually where Malta's presidents, it's the official residence, that's actually uh, the Red Keep in Game of Thrones. Oh, so right. you really, uh, fans should just go to Malta because it's, it's a place, even if you're not a fan of Game of Thrones, every destination we're talking about here is, is such a rewarding place to visit. They're all world-class destinations. Okay, we've got time for one more, so let's go uh, to uh, Morocco. Finally. So here you can see Daenerys uh, heading in to free the Unsullied Army. Um, so Morocco is actually really common in the first three seasons, and this is a, a scene in a, in a place called es Esoria. Um, so, you know, Morocco Travel Zoo has deals that almost like really for the price of like a flight, you can travel through the whole country. It's not an expensive place to visit right now. So we do recommend that uh, Morocco is a place to spend maybe like you could spend a week exploring all these different destinations there. 
So amazing. I am amazed by all the locations they have incorporated in this fantastic series. Susan Caddo, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you very much.